So when I decided that I was going to start camping in my minivan, I had four main concerns I knew I needed to address before I could even give it a go. Where I would sleep at night, how I would use the restroom, how I would manage climate control, especially camping in Florida in the heat all year round. And then lastly, but certainly not least, was how I would maintain a sense of privacy and be able to camp without feeling basically like I was sitting in a fishbowl where anybody passing by would be able to see me inside my van. I wanted to make sure that I didn't feel vulnerable and had kind of a sense of security that I would have, you know, staying in a hotel room or in my own bedroom, of course. So I set out to address all of those and today I'm going to be discussing what I use for my window treatments and how I maintain my sense of privacy while I'm camping in my minivan. I did just recently order some custom fit WeatherTech window shades, which I'm absolutely loving, but I'm also gonna discuss after I uh, review those and show you how I install them and kind of give you my first impressions. I'm also gonna show you the options that I was using prior to that, since I do still plan on utilizing some of those methods and they are a cheaper and easier option that you may want to consider if you're just getting started and are not really sure that you want to invest in the pricier option of having the custom fit ones. Um, and then I'll also discuss a couple of other options that I discovered in my research that I haven't personally tried, but that I've you know received really excellent feedback and recommendations on as well. So when you receive your custom fit weather techs, they will come in a nicely rolled little package like this, all kind of bundled up. And um, you can opt either, of course it depends on your, your make and model and whether or not they have it for your vehicle, although I believe they do have most of the, especially newer models of most vehicles. Uh, mine's a 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. And instead of just getting the windshield cover, I opted for the whole window kit, which comes with all of the windows for um, all three rows plus the back and the front and I think mine were around 160 um, depending on your vehicle and how many shades and all of that it, I think it ranges between one and 200 um, for most vehicles so again a, a definitely a pricier option and by no means am I saying that this is an essential at all but I will say I am really impressed with the quality I've heard they have excellent customer service they have a great warranty and um, I'm really impressed so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and we'll get them in the windows. And then I'll um, actually show you how effective they are at um, blacking out everything and, and insulating the inside. Okay, so um, when you get them, they have either, you can opt either for the black side, which is kind of like the stealthier, um, more insulated option, or the uh, reflectic silver side, which reflects heat out. So the theory is when it's hot, you want to put the silver on the outside to reflect the heat out of the vehicle and keep it cooler inside. Um, on the other hand, when it's cold out, you wanna put the dark side out to soak up the sun and um, keep the reflective on the inside to keep it cooler. So um, now with the back window, since the cutout for the light, um, I can't reverse those, but on the side windows, you can, if you wanna have the black side out, um, you know, it would face this side. If you wanted to have the um, silver side out, then you would just switch it to the other window. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pop these in right now. I'm gonna do the black on the outside and the silver on the inside because it's cold. <laughs> And that is literally it. One-handed, pops right in. It's a perfect fit. As you can see, it stays in. It's not falling out. It's a nice snug fit. And I actually like this better than the curtains that I used to have hanging out because in such a small space, every little inch matters. And this kind of creates the illusion of having more space now. Um, and then you see the little tab here when you're ready to pull it out. That's it. So easy. Um, and they're really thick and um, they're edged nicely with the seaming. So they're really well made. I, I mean, they really appear to be sturdy. Granted, I've only used them a few times so far, but I have no complaints yet. 
So let's go ahead and do the other windows and then I'll check back in with you and show you how dark it is in here now once they're all in and um, show you from the outside um, how it completely blacks it out and you can't see anything at all in. All right, I have all the weather techs in place now and as you can see, it is very dark in here now. So they are definitely effective in keeping out the light as well as any prying eyes or anything like that. Um, I am going to show you this evening what they look like um, when all of the lights are on inside and they're in place from the outside so that you can kind of get that perspective as well. So let's go ahead and discuss the other window covering options now. All right, I'm going to give you an idea of what the weather techs are like from the outside when it's dark. Um, so that's the silver on the outside. And I do just have the screens and the curtains on the front windows, but you can see they still do a pretty good job of blocking any light. And then these are all black on the outside here for the weather tech. And that's the silver on the outside as well, but this is tinted glass, so that tells you the difference there. Okay, and then when I open the door, you can see how bright it is inside. So you can see they are very, very effective. All right, now I'm gonna go over the next option that I use and that I really like and would highly recommend as a much cheaper alternative. Um, it's not as good at insulating and it's not quite as effective at blocking out light, but it is very effective at providing privacy still. And that is the magnetic window curtain. Um, I actually got these right away when I very first started camping and have been really happy with them. Um, they come in a two pack on Amazon and I will have everything linked below today so that you can um, find them for yourself if you want, but they are just basically lined with um, little sewn in magnets on top and very easily you just kind of pop it right in to the metal lining. Now, um, because they are such large windows, it's not a perfect fit, but with the magnets you can definitely make it work. Um, and as you can see, super fast and um, it does a pretty good job of blocking out the light but um, you can't really see anything other than maybe a moving shape inside from the outside so still very good at privacy the other thing i really like about the magnetic window curtains is you can kind of adjust um, how much light you want in at the time so maybe it's not all the way dark yet and you kind of don't want to have them closed off all the way you still want to be able to see out the window but you don't want them wide open so it's, you can kind of just, since it is magnetic, you can just kind of keep them up, but you can open and close them as much as you want so that you can keep them just partially up too. Um, so again, I really highly recommend these. I think it was maybe $20 or a little less for a two pack. Um, and they work really well. I will say I did not like them in the third row, uh, third window option, just because um, there's not as much metal up here so it was kind of harder to keep them in place. I ended up having to use um, these little cubicle clips to kind of hold them in place once they were in when I used those. Um, so that is one thing to consider if you have a minivan and you're using those for all of your windows. And then the final option that I'm going to go over today that I personally use are these stretchy over the door frame um, bug screens. Now, if you have a minivan, they will only work in your front windows, um, but if you have a, a car or SUV, you could use them in the um, second door windows as well. So they just go right over the door frame and then um, prevent any bugs from coming in or out and still enable you to roll down the window. And that way you don't have to worry about anybody reaching their hands in or out or again, um, any bugs. And I have heard from some people that they did not find these as effective in keeping the no seams out, those little teeny tiny bugs um, that are way smaller than mosquitoes, but that they did work against mosquitoes. Uh, now, I personally have used these all summer and fall in Florida last year, 
and they did great at keeping everything out. I never had any bugs in the car when I had these on. So um, I would highly recommend these. And again, great for ventilation, which is key in the summer, especially if you're in a hot climate, to let that breeze in without anything else that you don't want getting in. Um, so this would be my third recommendation that I've personally used. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on since I can't do it with um, one hand. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's already on. All right, and now you can see what it looks like on. So as you can see, nothing can get in or out that way. And if you think it's gonna rain, you can just roll the windows down to where they just are right up underneath this rain guard, and then that way no water can get in either. But it's a great way to get ventilation without the bugs. And it does offer, especially if you have tint, a little bit of privacy, although you can definitely see in at night. I just show one other quick little tip. If you do have the stretchy screens in, because of the magnet and the metal frame, you can still use the magnetic window curtains um, for complete privacy with the screens already on. So that way you have the ventilation, the no bugs, and the privacy up here. And the last thing I'm going to show you is my privacy curtain so if I don't want to put the window coverings up in the front or if I don't have the windshield cover in but I still want privacy back here I can go ahead and open or close this curtain they're by the same company as the other magnetic curtains that I have and they just clip um, right in here and then I have them pinned up here so that they don't go straight across but you don't need that and then can just close it off and these are actually um, magnetized too although I can't really <laughs> close it with one hand right now so there you can kind of get an idea one thing people will do as an alternative to the custom fit weather tech option is to make their own reflectic coverings and you can buy the insulation like the reflectix or even foam board those types of materials and cut out, um, you know, trace and cut out your own templates and then make your own window coverings. I opted not to do that because I just could foresee much fr frustration in my future if I tried to do that. I'm not the handiest person when it comes to DIY stuff. So I chose not to do that, but a lot of people have had wonderful results with that. So that's another option to consider. And there are tons of great videos on YouTube that will walk you through it and tell you how to do it, what materials to get, and give you some great tips. Now that I already have the templates from my weather text, I may try to do some custom ones in the future that have kind of a pretty side on the inside that matches my decor, and then maybe like a, a more stealthy kind of matte flat surface black instead of the, um, the black that come with it, because you can see those you know, they are still noticeable. They're not completely invisible or anything like that from the outside. And then lastly, if you are looking for an option that you can utilize right away without having to make or buy anything additional for your vehicle, you can actually take what you have on hand, such as pillowcases, sheets, blankets, even t-shirts or sweatshirts, tapestries, anything like that that you already have, and then you can actually just kind of roll down the window a little bit and kind of tuck it in and then roll the window back up to hold it in place. And then that way you have an instant window covering too that you didn't have to pay any money at all for. Um, the downside to that, of course, is that it's noticeable that you know, you're using something as a window covering and then people are obviously gonna know that you are inside. But if you don't care about that or if you're at a designated campsite or you know, whatever the case may be, then that's certainly an option that you can definitely utilize as well. So I think that pretty much covers what you can use and how to cover your windows to give you some privacy. I'm sure there's other options out there as well, but I think that gives you a pretty well-rounded base to choose from. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos with tips, tricks, or information on how to help you live or camp or travel in your vehicle. And I also do videos on hiking and um, campgrounds and park reviews, which I will be doing one of, of where I'm at right now coming up soon. So look for that as well. Um, but again, 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and I will see you on the next upload. Thanks and have a great day.